Hey, welcome to another episode of Clearlight Connections, uh, where we talk to the people behind the businesses of Bay Area Houston, proudly sponsored by UTMB Health. Uh, special guest today is Vic uh, Paris, mm -hmm. and you are not only a chiropractor, but you are owner of Snooze uh, Mattress Company. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That's correct. T tell us about uh, tell us about how you started the the, the mattress company and, and what why why it's more important than people people realize. So. Uh, my business partner and I, which is Blair, uh, watch Undercover Billionaire. So I'm not sure if you've seen this show or not seen this show, but season two uh, had Grant Cardone on it, and they dropped him off out in Pueblo, Colorado, which is the desert if you've never been. Uh, not a lot of mountains or excitement. Uh, and Grant met up with Matt Smith, which owned Snooze Mattress Company there in Pueblo. And he was a real go-getter, and him and Grant got together and – Blair and I both watch it, and we reached out to him and sent him a message on LinkedIn. He responded right back, and this is how we ended up with the Snooze franchise. It's the first one here in Texas, but what's more intriguing about Snooze than any other mattress is for me as a chiropractor, the one thing that everyone always tells me is they either have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, and they don't know what pillow or mattress to get. And so for the last 17 years, I've just been telling people, go try and get what's best for you. You know, go lay on a mattress and see what's best. A lot of researchers would say firm, medium, right? Just you can take a guess. At our current location, we have what's called pressure mapping. It's a digital scan that helps determine where is the largest amount of pressure in your shoulders and your hips. It will measure that if you're a side sleeper or a back sleeper. And we can attempt to get different pillows underneath you. And you can see on the TV screen that's up above you when you're laying on it where it's removing the pressure and decreasing the pressure. And so for me, it helps eliminate or we eliminate about 80% of the beds on the floor almost immediately because those aren't going to be what's the best fit for you. So it's one of the reasons we went with Snooze is to have the advanced technology that no one else in the state of Texas has uh, currently to help custom fit individuals for a mattress or pillow that's best for them. Yeah, when you explain it like that, it makes total sense. Yeah, so many people still to today stomach sleep, which if your stomach sleeper quit, that's just a good way to have numbness and tingling in your arms, hands, and fingers. Uh, but being able to measure where there's the largest amount of pressure, it also gives the importance of the adjustable bases. So a lot of people for years didn't really understand the benefits of adjustable bases. A lot of research currently shows, I was reading some research just before I got here today, about how it helps build immunity and helps reduce sleep apnea because of the amount of water in your body, just by elevating the head and elevating the feet causes the heart to function a little bit better, get some of the fluid off of your lungs. So there's a lot more current research that's coming out by some of the bigger manufacturers, but the Harvard research I was reading today, uh, that's what they're looking at is how to reduce individuals with sleep apnea and get them a better night's sleep. So Yeah, and so you're uniquely qualified in being a chiropractor about overall health and, and, and wellness. What, what should a, a person look for in a good mattress? So there's a lot of different qualities, but support is the number one thing. So trying to figure out what is the best pressure release technology. Um, Temper has what they call advanced pressure release technology. Uh, a lot of mattresses have additional support. You really want to find one that's going to be most supportive to you. I tell people if you're a side sleeper, an easy analysis you can do at home is a good start if you don't do the pressure mapping. Is Just lay on the side of your bed and have someone sit down at your level and take a picture of you laying on the edge of the bed. Are your hips sitting way up here or are they down here? Is your head tilted this way or is it sunk into the pillow? Those are things that are an easy analysis. And it's why it's very difficult on a day-to-day -day basis to explain to patients. You can't just pick a mattress and me tell you, look, this Sealy mattress is the best. Go buy that one because it may be great for you but not great for your wife or it may be good for others. And so to, to find what's got the best pressure release technology inside of it, whether it's a hybrid bed or whether it's a spring bed or whether it's one that's more of a memory foam, it all has perks and benefits, and they're all great mattresses from Temper, Stern, Sealy. All of them make great mattresses. It's really what fits you the best. And so by doing the pressure mapping again, I don't want to keep going back to that, but it's what eliminates a lot of the firm, pillow top, 
And a lot of times people think pillow top can't be firm, but they have firm mattresses that are pillow top. So there's a difference in the comfort layer on the top. So it can be a tight top mattress mm -hmm. or a comfort style mattress that's pillow top. But the actual guts of the mattress can be firm, soft, medium, hybrid of the two, three. And so it's really determining which one is best. And you can have a great mattress. And if you don't have a great pillow, then you're only about 50% of the way there. Yeah, I've, it's taken me years to find a, a decent pillow that, and then when I travel and I go to a hotel, I notice the difference. It, it kills me because th their pillows are always so soft and I get terrible sleep, which leads me to what, what are the health benefits of finding the right mat mattress and, and actually getting that, that good, solid sleep that we need so desperately? So there's, there's several health benefits. Some of the more common health benefits that are talked about is a better night's rest helps with improved focus, less depression, anxiety, uh, because you're more clear on what it is you're trying to accomplish for the day. Uh, the American Heart Association is another that's looking at how is it helping with heart function because we know that if you don't get a lot of sleep, your body releases cortisol. Cortisol is a stress hormone that causes the body and the heart to work harder. And so by getting a good night's rest or getting into that REM sleep allows the heart to have time to heal it's good for performance. So athletes that aren't getting the proper amount of sleep are more prone to injury and they find that their muscles don't have the amount of recovery time because they're not actually at true rest. So there's a lot of different health benefits, but more importantly, the things they're discussing now is helping reduce some of the sleep apnea by getting the right adjustable basis, helping with your heart circulation, by being able to elevate your feet and your head and having the more of a therapeutic massage, what we call it circulation enhancement, with the beds that can alter and massage at the same time. So really the heart benefit, the breathing, the lungs, the sleep apnea, your energy levels, depression, and um, like I said, there's a laundry list of things that they're currently researching. And there's other things that they're researching that they still don't really have a good understanding of why it helps improve that. But by doing the studies, they're finding the results that they're getting are quite significantly better. How often should I be shopping for a new mattress, typically? It changes a lot. Um, used to, seven to 10 years is what they would say. Uh, most manufacturers will warranty their mattresses for seven to 10 years. Uh, they'll say they should last 20, I would say seven to 10 years. Um, one of the articles I was reading not too long ago talks about how you should change your pillows almost annually mm. just based off of the skin that comes off and you're breathing on it all day, you're sleeping on it. Even if you have a great protector and pillowcase, you know, it still breaks down. It's getting sweat on it and it's, you know, everything else that happens. And so seven to 10 years is a good guideline. I would say, depending on the quality of the mattress that you buy, it, it, that drops down significantly. Some of the lower end mattresses, if you get one to three years out of them before they start indenting in an indention of about three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half is what they would consider a significant breakdown of the mattress. And so um, you don't want to wait till that happens. That's when you know it's too late. And that's when you normally have your back pain, your shoulder pain, your headaches. Uh, but, then you have to go see the chiropractor. And then you go see me. That's right. <laughs> so, but th to answer your question, it's kind of a difficult, it's, it's out there. And uh, the manufacturers would say that if you talk to them and you go to their, their warehouses and you go to where they're building them, they're built to last 15, 20 years. But traditionally, 7 to 10 years is a good time to hold on to a mattress and it not be broken down in some area or starting to break down in certain areas. Yeah, I might need to come see you then because I think I'm a little overdue. Uh, where, where exactly are you located in Lake City? So we're on Marina Bay Drive. It's 3202 Marina Bay Drive. We're directly between San Lorenzo's and Center Court. So okay. you can come eat amazing food. And at the same time, uh, take a when nap. you get a full belly, come take a nap. <laughs> and again, you're using this unique technology to, to really help people narrow down on, on what type of mattress is best for them, right? Correct. So the pressure mapping technology, it, it's really impressive. And, and not only does it help with finding the correct mattress, but it also helps demonstrate when you get the correct mattress that having the correct pillow is equally important. So a lot of people don't always need a new mattress. 
they just need a better quality pillow that matches the mattress they have. And that's another good benefit to the pressure mapping technology is you lay on your back and see the differences of how thick or thin a pillow can be, how supportive and cool can it be. And so that technology really puts us at a level where you're no longer at a, at a guessing game. You're not walking in and our sleep coach says, just lay on all 24 beds. Let me know which one fits your budget or yeah. which one feels comfortable. We really want you to lay on it for 8, 10, 12, 15 minutes. Some of the manufacturers state that the bed doesn't fully conform to you for 5, 7, 8 minutes, somewhere in that timeline. So to lay on a bed for 2 or 3 minutes and then you get home and say, well, this doesn't feel anything like it. Well, maybe not. For one, a lot of people have laid on that bed in order to try it out. So it's kind of broken down, worn in, and it's where it should be. And that's the way it should feel when you get it at home. But yours is brand new out of the packaging. So I know like Tempur-Pedic recommends that when you get your mattress home to walk on it. Kind of get Breaking some of some bit. of the materials to start activating and working correctly. And um, so it, it definitely makes a big difference in making sure that you find the right firmness and the right comfort level and then on top of that make sure that you've got the proper style pillow so you don't end up with those neck and shoulder issues that you don't you shouldn't have yeah well Vic, it's been a pleasure thank you uh i'm looking forward to coming in and doing the uh the pressure mapping absolutely i look forward to it all right thank you so much thank you